Let's start in a couple weeks. Yeah, because he's really early. Hold on, I have to go to and stuff. That's a long day. That is a long day. I mean, I give him credit for making that haul just to make minimum wage. Right, and then <laughs> the towing thing, that's on Saturday, so yeah. we're working six days a week. Yeah. He seems like a good, he seems like a good kid. I think it'll work out. Yeah. I mean, he's green, but it ain't like what we do with NASA engineer stuff. You know what I mean? We, we can train just about anybody, I think. Uh, <laughs> NASA engineers aren't so special. <laughs> no, they probably could run a grade also. I'd love wow. to <laughs> uh, The town of Nassau still has one of those uh, graders, you know, for the, for the, like a, I don't know, it's a blade underneath. Yeah, we got one too. But that's what they do on the roads with. Yeah, that's what we grade our dirt roads with. Takes nice some skill to run that thing. 1972. Thank you guys for coming out. I know it's a Friday. My wife is really not happy. We're supposed to be in downtown. Mine was thrilled to see me leave, so. <laughs> That's called young marriage. <laughs> I don't know how Larry's doing. I know. You want one? Steve. Yeah. You want one? I had it one the other oh. day. You the whole well, family it's just, fine. it's riddled with cancer. Everything's just, that's where it's affected. Yeah, I already know that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, guys, let's make this a brief meeting. Real. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to call the meeting to order. Second. All in favor, aye. All right, it is 601. The purpose of this meeting is to uh, adopt the tentative budget uh, so we can uh, maintain our timeline. And that's basically it. So. Do you have one question for Tiffany? Yeah. What is our 2022 rate? Combined rate. Uh, not 2023. 14.8. Two, six, two, five, somewhere around there. Good. Thank you. June, you get your papers open. I do. I had two questions. The one was about the park and taco that Tip talked. Maybe it was still in there, but I went back and looked, and it's not. Oh, it's not on the line item, and it's not totally in there. So I did put it in this one. Okay. Because again, I asked before, like, what it was for. Like, is it just a it, line item, you know what I mean? And it so, was originally like ten thousand dollars. Okay. Way back when Don was here and we were looking for park space. So that's originally where it came from, and then we just kept deleting, deleting because we weren't finding anything or doing anything. Right. So I can put it back in there. I just wasn't sure when I had asked about it before. No one could well, really tell are me. Are we anything. talking about Tom Park money? No. This is this line about? item right here. Parkland capital. To buy land. No. <laughs> what is it? I don't know what Parkland means. That's what I'm saying. It was originally in there for ten thousand dollars like years ago. We kept like just mixing it, cutting it down, cutting it down because we were never using it. We didn't get any park money, blah blah blah. But it was in, last year it was in there for a thousand dollars. So that's what I said last night about the hoops. Like if we put that back in for a thousand dollars, at least you have a thousand dollars. So that's that is in there's a thousand in the 2022. We don't have to worry about the hoops because they've already been paid for and donated. Who donated? Waste garage is gonna pay the bill for them. Three thousand oh. dollars? Yeah. So that's okay. off the table. All right. <laughs> that was very nice. Was um, nice I know he said last thing he's gonna talk about a donation, but yeah, so that's that off. Nice that's off the table about even having to use rescue funds or whatever money because that is okay. taken right. care of and right. dealt with. Okay. All right, I, I, Megan didn't say a word to me today. She may not know. I don't know. But that was well, I'll be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either. <laughs> Should we get some sort of plaque type thing that goes? Well, I was thinking of that, and we should probably name everybody that donated. This thing's gonna be free. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. You know, Chip, Scott Flaro, Troy Sand. Can you look into trying to put something together that we can? Yeah. Not too own. expensive. But. I don't know how we're gonna mount it. What do we do? What do we? How do we mount it? So we put it in the, in the, I was in the say, concrete. Can we do it in the ground like how they do like the cast iron 
aluminum plate or something? Well, so over at the playground, when they redid the big side of the playground, people bought stones that are yeah, no, the, the bricks. Yeah. bricks that are engraved. I wonder who could do that. <laughs> I wish somebody could actually cut a stone around here and make something. I don't think I know anybody. That well, I feel it's hard to find that kind of people around. Here. They're, they're hard. So uh, that's what's on the playground sign is the engraved bricks or. Yeah, you don't want like, bricks there. You make, they make an aluminum plaque. I've seen them. Though. It's just you know an aluminum plaque we could actually stick in the. Uh, yeah, I mean we got an aluminum plaque for Patrick Thomas Kelly. To go above that, do the that same thing, you know. It just that sticks right in the ground. Well, well, it's cheaper to do. Let's put it this way: you can do a piece of stone. We do it all the time. You can mount a plaque on the piece of stone in the ground, sitting up, whatever you want to do. But that's cheaper than sandblasting all that information on there. Yeah. So once you have like all your names and everything, like then you can look in awards by Walsh. Just, just about everything that we have. I, I would like to you want me to chair that committee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll get together and see like where we want it, how big we want it, blah, 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 blah. That would be nice. Yes. Yes. There you go. You know, I didn't know that, that I saw Megan today. I didn't say a word. She said her husband loved the show last night. <laughs> and didn't say Eric has to go. <laughs> I, I have one question about the budget. Yeah. Your salary. It went from 28.6 to 44.590. Mine? Yeah. So that's because it's going from the 20 hours to the 35 hours. If you also look, she also has summer camp, which is a different line. Yeah. So that it, I don't know who's it. Her total salary is a combination of Sand Lake and Post and Kill. No, no, he's talking about my secretary salary yeah. because it increased. Yeah. So right now everything is split. You know, Sue's office and Keith's office. Next year the plan is to just be Keith's office, but the hours need to be increased. Okay. Because correct me if I'm wrong. Sue has like office manager and secretary yeah and it came about that we couldn't do that because of like the way civil services yeah so even though she's handling like two jobs so to speak and everything we couldn't split them so now sue will have the deputy but we couldn't say we also had somebody else to do all the office stuff instead of just taking care of you yeah so maybe take care of me is a full-time job so that's how that came about what are you guys laughing about <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Thank you. Okay, so I got one more yeah. on water. Um, truck fuel. Yep. Hold on. Because I know before we put it in there because it originally was in highway. We wanted that yeah, highway yeah, that went in the water. Yeah. But now it's not there. Mm. Hmm. I must have not put anything in it. Maybe I didn't, wasn't given a number. Because who knows what fuel will be. So far this year, it's just 900, 800. I think Bob might be 800 and Tracy's 900. Yeah, Tracy's Rob using Bob's truck to No, go this is just just for what? Fuel for Bob? Yes. Okay, so Bob doesn't go anywhere though. Why are we paying mileage for Rob then using his car? Why can't he use the truck? He puts mileage in. Yeah. Right. Know, but the but the truck is here all day long. Why why are we paying for mileage for him when he could use the pound truck? He goes down to the pump station. He goes to his timesheet. 15 minutes a day he charges. He's down there 5.30 to quarter of 6 at the pump station. And then he communicates with me. So then he goes to his normal job. 
to come down and pick up another town truck to go over there, bring a town truck back or so on, get the truck more time. Okay, so he's not out during the day, like after the truck gets here? He he's doing things before you get here. Yes. No, but I'm usually at 6 or 7 myself, so I can communicate with him. But then he's going hours. to his other job. I'm oh, sorry? But he's going to his other job after he's Correct. done in the morning. Correct. Not he spent 50, you see the, the hours, he spent 50, he charged us 15 minutes a day, and it's you know, more than that, of course, time in, but he doesn't. That's what he charges. And that's, that's the mileage he does for that. Besides so that, that is, go ahead. No, go ahead, finish. Besides that, his mileage is mostly on the weekend. Okay. Saturday, he works Saturday basically four hours, Sunday four hours, depending upon what other work we get, can schedule. So, but what you're saying is like when he goes to Agway and stuff, he should be getting the water truck instead of mileage right if he's here or whatever why don't we utilize him that because we're already paying so the other thing i don't know to so like i know in other jobs and with mileage like typically it's from your office so i don't know like how that works you know is the pump station is considered his office like what should the point of start mileage be does that make sense? Like in most places, if your if your typical commute is so, if I typically commute from my house to here to town office, then that's not a reimbursed expense. And typically, if you're going somewhere else, you're technically, I believe, supposed to subtract out your typical Travel. mileage commute to the office. To the office. Yep. Does that make sense? I know it's in Lake that if I use my truck. There's a sheet of paper and I have to write down my starting mileage and my end mileage and I get reimbursed per mile. Right, because that's our, well, it's 50 There's a whole sheet right now. And that's going up. Megan will say, okay, well, you're going to use your truck today. What is your mileage on your meter today? And what is it when you come back? But and that's, that's you like starting at Sand Lake, right? Right. Right. So that's what I guess. Mm -hmm might need clarification too if rob's typical is the pump station typical is it here you know those things might need to get looked at too right. i mean if he is starting from here obviously and taking the town truck then right okay there's nothing to be done but is he doing it now from home to the pump station or we don't I even have know. to look at what a sheet says DJ, did you say that um, Tracy uses more fuel than Bob? Yeah, on a monthly basis. That means he's gassier? Yes, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just curious. Or less efficient with his gas. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be honest with you, I don't know why building inspectors need a big ass truck. <laughs> they could get around a little super room. But I think it's because it was a bill. Yeah, in this particular case. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at Sand Lake and the building inspector has a brand new yeah. truck, and I'm driving around that piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, I really didn't think about it. It was to buy a new one, like a small Prius or something would be. Yeah, well, I mean, what is the, the building inspector saying, like looking at that he needs that big four wheel truck? Yeah. And I'm driving a 19 uh, or 2002 rust yeah. bucket. <laughs> Which is better than the one you had a couple of months ago. Uh, I debate that. <laughs> They're both pretty humble. You're talking about the Giants one? No, I, yeah, my, Stanley, Stanley. my town truck. I'm oh. pulling your driveway sometimes so you can see what I drive for the town of like Oh, okay. What? The door, I have to pick up the shut. The tailgate only is attached to one that's side. That's a town truck? Yeah. That was an upgrade because the other one hadn't passed inspection for three years. They hadn't fixed all of it. Good. <laughs> it's it's framed. Okay, They're so trying to what? kill the surprise. To so add truck. money into truck fuel? I think we should up it a little bit because I think well, it's going to go up. I've got nothing in there right now, right. clearly, when I look at it. So 1200 don't you think? I think it's going to be higher after the election. Potatoes. Tracy's doing 900 right now. I think he was 900, and that was nine months, ten months. I don't see going up that high. But put 1200 in. You know what? If, if at the end of the year we have left over, we have left over. I actually don't think gas prices are going to go that much higher. 
I hope not. It's all a game anyway. There's no, there's never, never been a reason for gas prices to go up. Well, if they shut off the wells, so you can't drill. But we have so much reserve. <laughs> there is so much. It's gone. And, no, it's not gone. You're down to half. The national, the strategic reserve. Yeah. yeah. But the other fuel that's in the ground, there's more than enough. But they just don't get releases. But there you go. The whole idea that gas prices change like the wind is, it's a game. It's just a game. There, yeah, there's either a game or a battle between different forces. It's the oil producers taking advantage of every chance they get, and they do. Well, it's travel season, so price has to go up. Well, it's winter, price has to go up. It's an excuse in the world they raise prices. But there's no reason they couldn't stay level. It just isn't. Okay, so the 13.99% includes 2% raises across the board, like elected people, town board, attorneys, everything. What do you guys want to do with elected? So, do you want to, if, I'm not, if I'm you just, kept elected officials this way all along, it's more tolerable for people. The problem is you don't touch salaries of elected people, and then all of a sudden you realize that you're way behind, and then that big jump of five grand, everybody, if they see it, it's like an alarm going off. So there are rules about off-beer elections, right. off the year elections, when you And can... those are the things I don't know, but I wanted to at least get a... I think it, I don't think you can do anything this year, right? But we should be I able to do planning board and zoning board. They're not elected, so they, that's allowed. And then the elected officials so, rules on when you and, can. And PJ, I get that it's a little different for town council people, but for uh, DJ and, and Sue, it's it's a different animal. Right. But I'm, I'm just saying I know that there are specific rules about when you can give elected officials raises. Because we got so. in trouble the one year when Don was here because we raised everybody across the board and we couldn't do it when it was think not the election it's it's either, yeah it could be the other I don't know. Yeah, I thought last year that's why we didn't do races was because it was election yeah so was so like that way. I, yeah. I, I don't i'm not 100 <laughs> right that was, that was why we didn't do them last i think it year. is so we have an off year we can do it yeah. Yeah. yeah so this is considered an off this is an yeah. off year and it's an off year for everyone tom right. slavin's the only one who's running for yeah but he's i think we can part. classify it. yeah. it's when his term is oh. He's, he's not on the board. Right. So I think justices would fall the same as Sue and DJ. Yeah. Right. Because he right. is elected. And 2% so raise is not going to keep up with the changes in prices. But it's better than nothing. We're way behind on. on uh, like, I took this job at that salary and I accept that. And I, I wanted the job, not the salary. But honestly, if you look at the salary of supervisor or council person post scale, it's not close to where the towns are getting. They're not even close. And so 2% doesn't seem unreasonable. Steven Town. It doesn't seem unreasonable. Your council for us. For everybody. Yeah. Everybody. If you do a little bit at a time and you do it, whatever the highway department contract gets, that's really what we should be mirroring. Or be doing the same thing. And everybody accepts that that's, that's you know. I, well, if you can get 2% raises for everybody and still because of other cost savings have a reduction in your tax base, I think that's a good so thing. So if a department asks for a person to already increase their salary more than 2%, is that considered the 2%? Am I doing an additional 2%? No, yeah, no. 2% across the board and figure out how it, it, it matches the math. But if they're asking for more than 2%, they no. It, we have to be fair to everybody. I think the council person and, and the supervisor should be 4%. The reason is we can't do any next year. Well, no, 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 you know what? It, don't, because it's the, okay. no, just leave everything the same at 2%. And so, okay, so if a department asks and that's how their salary is in here is for the additional amount, just leave it at that additional amount? No, we do, do away with that amount and just go to 2%. Yeah, that's cool. Are we talking about like Michelle or something that really got bumped or no? So, so planning and zoning, zoning. asked for Stephanie to go to 1950. Right. Yeah, 
Well, what is she at now? And they increased her hours, right? No, she well, they, they, so her 15 hours is what was increased during this year. Okay. In like May, April, May, when we increased, when you guys increased her hours. So we left that as the same. She right now is 1786, I think. And 2% give her to 18? 18 a little bit. Okay, just give her the 2%. We can't. I love Stephanie and I don't want to hurt her, but honestly, we can't, we can't, do, we have to be the same with everybody. That we already put out there, though. Yeah, but we can't do it. We can't do it. Yeah, the what? The 1950. Well, this is still just in what they requested. Okay. What do you mean put it out there? That that's what we were going from on this first tentative was 1950, right? Yeah, that's what I included. So we can change. I can change. But you that. only included because that's what they asked. For. That's what they had asked for. And then using the two percent just for everybody else. Same yeah, I, I love Stephanie, and I, I think she's doing a good job. I think she's caught up the and and she's up to speed now. But that's not fair to Sue or anybody else. What about the cleaning lady? We knocked her hours down. Why did we knock her hours down? Because she doesn't. <laughs> She's not very good at what she does, but we don't want to fire her. I was just kidding. She, <laughs> really? She didn't ask for more hours. Than, she, didn't, she didn't ask so for the hours she, that she was budgeted. The amount of hours that she uses is not the 10 hours that has been six is more of a reasonable of what is being used. Right. You can put it in the budget at, at $10,000, but she's coming in here and working on her own hours. And her hours do not match what's been budgeted. Her hours are almost half of what's been budgeted. So why do we budget something that she's not using? So she writes that down and she's only using it. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're not cutting her pay or cutting her she's hours. She's getting a 2% of each too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So 2% across the board. So like um, Andy is contractual. Because he just sends us the bill. Are we doing a two percent there as well? Yeah, just to everybody, everybody okay. that works for the town, two percent. Okay. Then nobody has hard feelings. Okay. Nobody can come back and complain. Same with their town engineer. Everybody at two percent. Well, he sets his rate, so I feel like that's the problem. Huh? Ten years from now, that's a lot. Of what do you mean ten Way years? Way more than twenty percent. What are we talking about? Two percent every year. year. Cost of living is seven percent right now. Dollars work less. You gotta, you gotta. If we want people to come and work here and be happy, we have to treat them as good as everybody else gets treated. And two percent is not a lot. And we gave the highway department That's fair. all that. It's fair. Good weather, they make more than I do. I, listen, I negotiated the bus garage contract. Jesus. I got a four, a five, a five, a five, and a five. Different one. And we only paid 10% of our insurance. That's a contract I just got from the school. That's a lot of swearing and yelling. So yeah. huh? That's why your school taxes are so high. Well, you couldn't get bus drivers because we were so far behind the school school district. Got it. If everybody in the school district is paying eighteen dollars to start and you're paying fourteen, don't think people are coming here. So they had to catch up, and that's what it was all about, catching up. You have to pay people to be able to come to work, and we are not overloaded with staff. Go to any other town and see what they're operating with, and look at the skeleton crew we operate with. The reason we're under budget is because. We're frugal here. We we don't piss away money. Is that it, June? No. Oh. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, June. We yeah. gotta talk about my expended because I don't. I talked about this to Tiff earlier, and neither one of us are clear as to how we're gonna get DJ's money into a different. Whether you call it unexpended balance or contingency or a reserve fund for equipment or whatever, 
we need some guidance. So she's going to talk to Michelle, Megan, Megan, <laughs> and see that that still has to go come out of there and go somewhere. Right? Yeah, I was hoping Andy was going to have some. We can't just roll it over. We can, but I don't get on the spending side like how do i do we just go over budget or how do i show that transaction to show that we're using unexpended money to fulfill something so like i don't know how in the bridge line to show that we're using yes it's costing us 27.5 10 is coming from the 10,000 budgeted for bridge and the other 17.5. That's what I don't know is how to show. Well, she's an accountant and she should be able to tell you how to do this. Because there's probably some legality. Yeah. Well, there so is. I think between Denise, Denise and Megan, between both of them, I'll be able to figure it out just at this moment because it's something I've never had to do. I don't know. And that's just the process. We had the money, it's how we do it. But that's yeah. just in this year. I'm talking about going forward yeah, too into next year. Creating that. Account. Creating that reserve fund, right. whatever you want to call that other line item, yeah. where we're going to take money that hasn't been spent, so we have it going that. forward for your right. equipment. And there is such a quick thing as an equipment reserve fund, but again, the legality of it and everything, I don't, yeah. I don't know. I'll ask Andy too for. You know, it's called the Association of Towns, too. Are we going to miss the deadline if we keep pushing this off? Or is this going to affect? No, so, like, th doing that isn't going to affect budget. budget. Yes. Because we, when we end the year, whatever we, we have, have, it's going to come forward. Something, maybe. yeah. Yes. I was always slowing you up. <laughs> All you have to do is spin, spin, spin. I'm yeah. trying to save here. I'm trying to create the account for me. <laughs> Now I'm done. Oh, <laughs> so we need to accept the tentative to move it to preliminary and then schedule the public hearing for preliminary. All right. Well, I'll entertain a motion to uh, call this our what our tentative? Tentative, yeah. I think George should make the motion. <laughs> 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 I'll make the motion to approve the tentative. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, now we need to skip to the public hearing? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> when do you guys want to do it? It's up to you. I'm flexible. Um, What's the deadlines? And where are so, not next week because we have to get the public hearing notice out. So, the week of the 25th? Well, the 24th is uh, a Monday. A Monday. So uh, that, Tuesday, I do ambulance. Uh, yeah. How about Wednesday, the 26th? Is that okay with everybody? Wednesday, Thursday, doesn't matter. How about the 26th? I, I, it's it actually in dark letters for some reason. What about stick with Thursday? Okay, the 27th, if that's what we're going to do with our last October that. Just because people are restarting. All right, so we can do the October 27th public hearing. At seven. At, uh, can we move it to six thirty? Can you say five? That's fine. I hate the late meetings. If you guys want to do seven, it's fine. Don't do it for me. I'm just saying, four thirty comes up very early for me. Because there's probably not much to government at that point. I don't think fine with me. It's fine. Six thirty. Okay. All right, so because then we can do public hearing, and then you can vote on the final at the November meeting, and that'll still give, keep us in good shape to move. How much is this giving us to put into our reserve funds? We don't know yet because we didn't get counting no money yet. What do you mean? Well, we've but, always had uh, an unspent balance, our reserve fund, and we've drawn from it. Are we adding, how much are we adding to that? Like from this year? Yeah. You won't have a firm number, but we're 100,000 ahead, right? I would say 200, at minimum 200 ahead, because we're already way over in sales tax of what we thought. So I'm guessing 
200 to 250 is what we'll put in. So we're going to go into the next few years with a pretty good cushion. In fact, we're going to have to look at how much we're actually putting there because the comptroller puts a cap. Yeah, there's a limit. There. There's, so there's no limit. No hard limit. There's no hard limit right. is what the auditor said last year when I was asking. Sort of a soft limit. Like a soft limit. It's to be reasonable. It has to be reasonable, right? And what may be reasonable for our town might be a different number for a different town. So there's no magic well, number. Before Irene problem. hit, we probably had too much, but we used it. No, we used we used a bunch of it in Irene last year. Well, I said, but before it hit, so luckily we had it in Irene because we would have to raise taxes. And yeah. I remember taking from it and feeling, boy, I hope we can put this back. And we did put it back last year. But now we're actually adding to it, which is. A good thing going into this economy because I, I I don't know if the future brings me. It doesn't look great. But again, that's still unexpended, which we're going to move some of that out of there to some kind of reserve fund. Right. And that's just looking at what we're over in revenue, not even what we haven't used in expenses yeah. as well. Right. too. Yep. Anyway, we're in good shape. And thank you guys because it, it, we are lucky that we're in the shape we're in. And maybe. We could talk about doing something more with the highway department. I know you chip ceiling, but maybe doing more than highway department. Well, we could expand on what we're doing. We could pave more roads. We could. Oh, you mean like increase the budget to do more miles per year? Uh, well, we have to be careful, but yeah, I think we can. If we're 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 careful about what we're doing, I think we can, actually can. Like actually raising our permanent improvements line or like pulling from unexpended funds? Not at a permanent, but because this year is we're in good shape, maybe yeah. this particular year we could do something that we wouldn't ordinarily do. Okay. What about new equipment? What's that? What about new equipment? Yeah. Yeah, we could always do better. Well, give us a thought. But we are actually old? financially well good. What I, yeah, the first budget meeting when I you weren't here at the first one, were you? Yeah. No, when we just talked about, no, Dave wasn't here that night. Oh. Okay. What I was saying to June and then was is that this coming year, I'd like to update our roller and skid steer trailer. It's an old military trailer because the lead time on trucks is like 12 to 16, 18 months. But our old Volvo, which is like our haul truck, is like a 93 Larry Bob that. It's getting pretty bad. But what, what I would like to do is take the tandem that we plowed when East Post would go with, because that's our oldest, it's 2014. Move that into a spare ditching roll to extend its life, ship the Volvo, and then you know, replace that with a smaller, like the CV International we bought a couple of years ago for 127000 because you don't need a CDL for it. It's a little bit more multi purposeful, and we can ship the tandems around. To the mountain and use this one in the village, kind of reorganize the beats. So we could get something like that at half the price of a truck that we would, you know, replace that tandem with. And then you're still extending the life of that truck. That's kind of what I was thinking for like the next purchase. Was well, why don't you put together an actual proposal? I can get, yeah, I can get numbers for you. I have to, you know, get all well, that. Well, time, stuff. you know, we, we, yeah. I mean, I can do that. It's fine. Plus, you don't know about snow yet this year. It's supposed to be a bad winter. Yeah, it's here every year. Woolly bears, though, are woolly bears. <laughs> no brown. That's the woolly bear forecast? That's the woolly bear <laughs> forecast. You heard it here first. Yep. You won't say. But, yeah, I, I mean, got new boots. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, uh, we can get some numbers to go for that. That'd probably be a, a uh, I, I'm not promising, but we should. No, it's probably like, something like that. Yeah, so we have to keep the fleet current. current. Right. We have no right. choice. That was our plan with a five year right. cycle. Right. Yeah. We we replaced a lot in the last. Oh my God, we years. updated a lot. Yeah, no. We're in, I don't think these we're ever got as much equipment as we've bought in the last three years of ever before. I don't know. I mean, with that one year, we bought the excavator and the skid steer and the loader all at the same time. And that was a big jump, too. We're fortunate. No, we really are. How's the loader deal going? <laughs> I was up to Milton Cat the other day to get parts, and they had one in the yard that was identical to what we used. So I took a picture of it and sent it to our salesman because he has not responded to me. And I said, this one will work. 
and instantly called me and was like, wow, that one's already sold. It's been sold for two months. They won't let me use it. And the next one that they said they're going to get is until January. So we're going to end up rolling some of that over at a machinery to somewhere because they don't have one available, which is unfortunate because it's going to end up costing a bit more because we put more hours on it. But the yards, have, I mean, before COVID and everything, they'd have 200 pieces of equipment in that yard, and there was six. That was it. It's pitiful. And everybody got their COVID money. Blood stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone's got. We still have a lot of our COVID money. Yeah. But we have a roof here that has to be replaced. And a heat system you're talking about, right? Or a cooling system? Not at $59,000. I don't. Uh, we'll just live with window air conditioners. Not at $59,000. All right, guys, we'll entertain a meeting to adjourn. So moved. Thank you for coming out on Friday. Uh, oh, we're doing good. Only two left. Only two left. Only two Three. Four. Well, just, just two. Just two. Yes. Just two enough. The Yankees lost today, by the way. Okay. Is it? Yes. Are they out? Four two. No. It's tied one one.